Hello, Nima here. Thank you for joining me. I am thrilled that you're here. Now, today we're going to drill down to three things that are vital if you want to thrive in a sustainable way. In other words, if you want to marry success with sanity. And they are raise your profile, sustain your version of success, and earn more when you work. That's right. Sound good? Now, these three things are really important because, you know, there's no point in having the degrees, winning the bid, starting a company, getting that promotion, basically being brilliant at what you do if you can't keep doing it. So many wonderful women I know achieve these things, but walk away from these amazing opportunities because they're overwhelmed, stressed, juggling all the balls all the time, and you just can't do it. I mean, I've tried. It's just not sustainable. Think about this. How many women do you know who really want something and they go for it? For years they work towards it, but when they get it, they walk away. When they're offered it, they turn it down because, because they're concerned that they won't be able to cope because they predict all the problems they could have in the future. I'll give you an example. I turned down a huge contract to be the face of a financial series that involved traveling the world. I had a baby and I thought of all the problems I would have and I did not negotiate or think of or even know how to think of possible solutions. The how can I do this way of approaching it. And I wonder, has anything like this happened to you? I was predicting all the future problems and not looking at the solutions I could come up with. I'll give you another example. Women at an event I was chairing were asked to put their hand up and step up to the next big thing in their career. Most of them didn't. They just shuffled uneasily in their seats. And when I spoke to them afterwards, they said that they were too worried about what the future would hold if they were successful. You know, what about their children? What about their private life? What about all the travel it would involve? Again, it was about predicting the problems that would happen and not looking for solutions and the how can I do it? So why am I talking about this? My big wish for you is that you do not break and that you are not broke at any point in life, not now and not in the future. Part of making this happen for you is for you to know how to showcase your brilliance and when you do work, you earn more. That's right. Now, I can help. I can help make this your reality. How? You need to join a program I created. It's called She Strategy, which stands for Seen, Heard, Empowered. To be clear, nobody can empower you but yourself. Only you can empower yourself. But what I can do is pass on a toolbox that shows you how to do it and how to keep doing it. A toolbox that hundreds of women all over the world are using right now to help them be seen, heard, and empower themselves. Think of She Strategy as your foundation. It's your foundation in life. It helps you achieve what you really want for yourself and sustain it. Be able to keep doing it. Think of it as a practical philosophy. Part thought, part practice, always practical. You see, it keeps you seen, heard, empowered in both your professional and your private life. Today, I'm going to take you through some of the key elements of She Strategy so you can see the power of this and how it can help you starting right now. We'll be together for just under an hour. By the way, I suggest that you get a pen and paper because you might want to write certain things down. You'll leave the session with three things. One, why sustaining your version of success is crucial. Two, you'll discover the critical skill to be able to do this. And three, you'll find out what leaning into your earning potential actually means and how you can make it your reality. To share what I mean, I want to showcase some of what my she leads. These are the women who've been through she strategy. What these she women have gone on to do. It blows me away. It makes me so happy. Let me introduce you to Noor. Noor Jibril was selected as one of 30 women from across the world to join the Forbes Ignite Impact Fellowship. I mean, just think about this. Think about how many other women were out there trying and vying to get that place. Noor got in touch to share the news with me before she told her workplace. And she shared that before going for the selection process, she went through her she blueprint. 
Think of the blueprint as your personal unique guide. You'll refer to it every time you have something important to say. Noor went through what she was going to share, how she was going to be when she was in the selection process and what made her different to everybody else. And guess what? She was chosen. And meet Najah, who was recently chosen by her employer to start an MBA at Hulk Business School. And by the way, her place of work paid for the MBA too. So she went from being overwhelmed, stretched, stressed to planning out her next step and making it happen. She was chosen. And Claire, she increased her salary fourfold, changed industry and is the happiest she has ever been. These are women who've been through She Strategy and they're living it, they're being it. They are seen, they are heard, they are empowering themselves. So let me take a step back. Why do I get to talk to you about this? Okay, three things. I am a communication expert. I'm an authority on the financial life cycle of women. And I drill down to the practical side of how the brain works, how you can raise your profile, sustain your success and earn more when you do work. Now, I think it's important to take a moment to explain why these three elements are so vital and relevant to you. For decades, I've been on global TV and stages around the world. I've worked alongside and been trusted by the likes of the United Nations, BBC World, I worked there for 12 years, Forbes Arabia, governments, corporations, small businesses, leaders. It could be in the media, at a conference, at an important internal event. Now, when I chair and moderate conferences or when I interview people with my journalist hat on, I get a front row seat to what works and what doesn't. I see brilliant people lose out and I see others who have an audience on side and wanting more. Now, all of these people have something to say. They want to get it across in a way that gets buy-in, that gets results, that gets a yes from someone. And I want to pass this skill on to you so that every time you have something important to say, it could be to your teenager, your partner, your boss, your colleague, your investor, your client. Every time you have something important to say to them, you can say it in a way that makes it relevant to them and that increases the chance of you getting that yes that you really want and need. Okay, let's move on to the financial facts for females. Now, these are samples and examples of the articles I've written for well over a decade that drill down to the reality of life of women's financial life. And if you stay till the end, I'll share a report that I've created that really brings to life the financial life cycle for a woman and how it is that even high earners can end up broke at the end of life. My hope is that it'll help you make decisions, life decisions that keep you safe and solvent. Now, as for the brain-based work that I do, I've always been interested in the human condition and how the brain works. You know, what makes us notice things? What makes us make certain decisions and not others? It's one of the reasons that I have a master's in medical engineering. So trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm kidding, I'm not a doctor, but do trust me. Look, it's complicated, but I have simplified it. And here's the bottom line. You need to earn, right? You're brilliant at what you do. And you need a yes at different stages in life, at different points of the week, from different people. And so I am here to tell you that to get that yes that you really want and need, the way you communicate is key. And I'm also here to say that hitting a wall or staying stuck means that you lose out financially. And I'm not talking about the difference between you being wealthy versus comfortable. I'm talking about the possibility of you being broke towards the end of life. And that is a pretty rubbish way to be towards the end of life, even if you're a high earner. Okay, so now I, I resisted sharing this next bit I'm going to take you through because it's about me. But you know what, it is important I share this because so many women I know deal with this sort of struggle. It reflects reality for so many. Okay, so this is a picture of my kitchen wall many years ago. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but on the right there, I've got the days of the week. I was going to be away for more than one night for work for the first time since my son was born. Before that, my son had been the youngest ever delegate at various conferences because I took him with me and I juggled breastfeeding with working, with being on stage, with interviewing and that sort of thing. Then I transitioned to first plane out, last plane in. 
and it nearly broke me. You know, I don't know about you, but I never want to go back to doing a 20 hour day again, ever. So many women do something similar. You know, you want to be there for breakfast or you want to be there to tuck them in if you can't be there for both, right? And then, because it nearly broke me, I transitioned to one overnight stay if I really had to do it. So this was the first time I was going to be doing more than one night. Now, I am a single parent and my childcare fell through. And so a dear friend stepped in and said she would overnight. I'm so grateful. And you know what it's like, you don't want to impose, right? But you have no choice. And so I wrote everything out, every single thing that was gonna happen, every contact number, everything that had been organized, the play dates, what was happening, what to pack in the bag. And because we have gut issues, I, I had cooked every single meal, frozen them in batches, labeled them, you know the drill. And when I'd written it all out on the wall, I took a step back to take it all in. And I realized that this was a moment. I took a picture and I realized that so many women carry this information around inside. We'll have to do all of this. And it's not about having children. It could be caring for parents, caring for a partner, caring for a family member, something else going on, somebody out there needing them. And what it means is that women have to deal with overwhelm. I know I have had to deal with being overwhelmed for years. And this is one of the major reasons that so many women die broke. It's not about how much money a woman can earn. It's about how much money a woman does earn over the course of life and what she ends up paying for. Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to cover three key points today. One, how to bridge the gap between knowing what you need and want and getting what you need and want. Two, knowing and understanding the shocking financial facts that burden women and how to overcome them. And three, what you can do to make sure that you raise your profile, sustain your version of success and earn more when you work. Okay, step one. So what's the magic pixie dust that moves you from knowing what you need and want to getting what you need and want? Brace yourselves, this is going to blow your mind. Are you ready? It is <laughs> asking for it. That's right, but that's not all. It's about how you ask for it. So I'm sure you've heard this before. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. But let's look at facts. Thousands of women are interviewed every year in many studies. PwC, for example, has an annual study that looks at what women need and want and what happens when they ask for it. And one of the categories they look at is increased pay. So you might want to write this down. When PwC looked at the thousands of women across the world who asked for increased pay, 91% got it. That's right. I'm going to say this again. 91% of the women who asked for more pay got it. It's about communicating what you need and want with whoever is the decision maker in a way that resonates with them and influences them. What? It sounds too simple, right? Stick with me. Being able to do this to communicate with impact and influence increases the chance of you getting buy-in, of you getting that yes to your ask, so that that thing that you need, the change that you want to have, happens. But it's about how you do this. So when you join She Strategy, you'll find out that it's not about your perspective, it's about the perspective of the stakeholder, the person that you need a yes from. Maybe what you need right now is for somebody else to make and clean up three meals a week or three meals a day. Or you need a new skill to qualify to lead that dream team. Or you need your boss to know that you are the right person for that position that's being advertised. Maybe you need to influence people to become clients in your business or to have investors invest in you, in your idea, in your venture. These needs are very different, but they all have one thing in common, getting buy-in from someone. It could be your spouse, your child, your partner, an investor. You need them to get, to understand what you're asking for, what you're negotiating for, what you want from them. And if you make it relevant to them, you will increase the chance of getting that yes. Now for this to happen, they need to relate to why this is important for them first, and then why it's important for you. And key to this is tuning into what interests them. So you need to tune into whoever you need a yes from so that they then tune into you and what you're saying. 
How? Well, I make it really easy for you to do this when you go through She Strategy because you get templates, cheat sheets, the how do I do it to make this happen. Now, doing this throughout the phases of your life means that you don't break because you know how to get buy-in. And of course, it'll be different things at different phases in life because your needs and wants will change. Now, there's an art and a brain-based science to all this. And there's a bonus too. The skills that make you great at this are the same skills that will make you rock the stage when you're speaking at an event, at a conference, at a meeting, when the spotlight and all eyes are on you. You know, it doesn't have to be when the spotlight's on you. It could be when you're waiting for the elevator, the big boss comes along and has a chat. What you say, how you are in these moments is critical. This is when big decisions are made subconsciously a lot of the time. Judgments are made about you, a perception of you. It could be the boss where you work. It could be the boss of a firm that you need a yes from because you want them to be your clients or you want them to invest in your company. So do you see, it's about the way you are all the time, how you come across all the time, the way you communicate all the time, not just when there is a spotlight on you. Being great at getting across what you need, want, and do. These are core skills. Many people call them soft skills. I don't. These are core. We all need them, but we don't get the chance to learn them. Now, there are loads of programs out there that say they'll help you become a better communicator. For example, only use six words on a slide. Okay, if that's what you want to do. But which six words? How do you decide which words are the words to use in this occasion? When you join She Strategy, this is exactly the level of detail that I drill down to and the knowledge and toolbox that I pass on to you. So you can do this. You'll know exactly which words to choose to suit each occasion in a stress-free way, by the way. You see, I like comprehensive, neat, real systems that are easy and stress-free to use. This is what sets my training apart from everything else that's out there, by the way. Okay, so now you know that communicating in a way that resonates with and influences the stakeholder that you need a yes from, that you need buy-in from, is key. So now let's move on to the second strategy, and that's around financial facts of life for women. I want you to understand why more women than men die broke, and crucially, how you can make sure it doesn't happen to you. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but I believe that you have the right to know the realities that you are going to likely be up against at some point in your life. And I want you to have the tools to do something about it before it's too late, before you make certain decisions that you will pay the price for, for the whole of your life. Now, here's something I want to share with you. I was negotiating the rollout of She Strategy at a multinational and the person who had the power to say yes said no, because she said that, and these were her words, she didn't want to put women off. You see, she didn't want them to know certain facts and realities that I go through in She Strategy. Big data to do with women, work, money, and life. Now, I am the exact opposite. I believe in informed choice. I look at big data. I look at what can be done, practical things. I drill down to how can we do this and provide solutions. And here's the thing. Yes, you get the toolbox to dealing with things, when you join She Strategy, but there's something else as well. When you know these facts of life for females, if any of these things start happening around you or to you, you're much more likely to notice, to notice before it's too late, to notice and know what you can do about it, to notice and know what it'll mean to you in your life if you don't do something about it. I don't know about you, but I'd much rather know and know how to do something about it. How to do something about things that will affect my life. What about you? Would you rather know or just have your head in the sand? And here's why I'm coming directly to you, because I feel sorry for the women who work in that company and so many others who don't know about the facts of life for females and don't know how I could and can help. So let's talk women, work, money and life. <laughs> and again, you might want to take notes. So, now earlier I said I want you to embrace leaning into your earning potential. Why? So you have financial dignity and choice at the centre of your life. And here's a proven, albeit surprising, in how simple it is, approach to dealing with this. It's not about how much money you can earn, it's about how much money you end up earning. 
and keeping. And to help you make the right decisions for your life, for your circumstance, for your value system, it's important that you know certain things, not because I'm telling you what to do with your life, but because I do believe in informed choice. And if you know these things, you'll set things in place, this is my hope anyway, that will help keep you safe, sane and solvent, all right? Things like the real cost of time off work. And what happens if you don't speak up about what's challenging you, what's keeping you stuck, or if you don't speak up about what you really need and want for yourself? This is why I want you to lean into your earning potential. So, okay, what does this mean? It means that when you do work, you earn more. Very simple, right? Because you will have the toolbox to negotiate for more and fair pay. You'll know how to go for an opportunity and be chosen. And you will know how to be known for your brilliance. You want time off? That's fine. You'll know how to navigate a sabbatical, time away, not stepping off. And you'll know how to be front of mind with people who need something, something that you can do. You'll be able to make them think of you and offer it to you. The bottom line is this, I want this to be the new you. When you are working, you earn more. I mean, you're at work anyway, you've done all the groundwork, you showed up, so when you're working, earn more. Lean into your earning potential. This is a seismic mental shift and I really want you to embrace it. Okay, so let's dive into some financial facts for females. First, the real cost of time off work. Sometimes it's what you have to do. Sometimes it's what you want to do. This is not about telling you what to do. There is no right or wrong. It's about what fits in with your life with your values, with how you want to be and want to live. I want you to know what it means for you and for your family now and in the future so that you stay safe and sane now and in the future. Okay, so you could be thinking of time off because you have a newborn, your parents need you, because your partner has been relocated or because you just want time off. Now, making the decision around who should have time off is usually done on the back of an envelope and based on who earns less. And the thinking is usually that the financial loss is how much that person earns times how long they're not going to be earning for, yeah? But this is not true. Brace yourselves, because here's the truth. Every year you do not earn equals losing out on three to four times your annual salary over your lifetime. So it's not about one year off equals one year's salary gone, it actually, equals three to four times your annual salary. Remember, if you stay till the end, you'll get a link to the financial report I created that goes through all of this in a lot more detail. This is not fake news. Let me take you through an example. This is Jane. Jane is a teacher. She earns $44,000 a year. Wow. Jane has a baby. She decides to take five years off and she loses $220,000 in lost wages. You can see this at the bottom of the chart. But that's not all. Her losses are magnified, for many reasons, to a whopping $707,000. That's right, for five years off. So it's not just her salary times the years off, it's everything else she loses out on. The incremental increase in pay, pension money, lots of other things that go into her pot. Maybe you think, I'm fine. This doesn't apply to me. I earn a lot more than $44,000. Okay, then let's look at scenario two. This Jane is a high earner. She earns $110,000 when she is 25 years old. Wow. She and a male counterpart, Joe, start off earning the same amount of money and follow the same career path. She does not take any time off. They get the same positions as they progress. She earns $800,000 less than her male counterpart. This is a person who does not get the pull towards carer, okay? So she stays leaning into her professional life throughout. Remember, all the information is in a lot more detail in the report that you'll get if you stay till the end. Okay, so let's see what happens if she takes time off. Look at this graph. If you look at the graph, you can see that she stops earning, then she earns again, but nowhere near what she is capable of, what her qualifications, skills, experience say that she should earn. So the woman who used to earn $110,000 when she was 25 years old ends up broke at the end of her life. Look, the face of old age poverty is female. 
Women are three times more likely to die broke, and these figures are from before COVID. We don't have the latest stats on this, and I believe it's much worse now. Women are 80% more likely to be impoverished at the age of 65, and three times more likely to be living in poverty between the ages of 75 and 79. Now, this doesn't sound great. So what can you do about it? What can you do to stay solvent, safe? throughout life. I have a system that I believe will help you. Women all over the world are using it right now to be safe, sane, successful and stay solvent. For example, meet Medea. She said, I really enjoyed the program. In over 13 years, this is the first program that I really looked forward to each week. I enjoyed every moment of it. And for me, it came at the right time. Najah, she said, I learned how to be very specific and choose my words clearly. She's the person who went on to be chosen to do her MBA. And let me introduce you to Fatima. She was brilliant. And she said, the Simplicity. Um, I usually, I, I started doing this. You said, make three words or three key things, three things, yani, and interest them before you educate them. It's right here. I thought my my reports always educating and more than interest them. So I really like it that you, you and the feeling that so people will remember the feeling. So interest them in the beginning, make three keywords, make three sentences. And when you start with it, end with it as well. So it will stuck in their mind. Um, yeah, and I, I really try all my work when I start uh, to think what I want them after this meeting, what I want him to stuck in their mind. And if somebody asks them what Fatma said in their, in the meeting, what they were going to say. So that's the simplicity. It changed me. And, I, I, and you said something I like it very much. You said, work on what you have. I really liked it. It uh, I mean, Work on what you have, it was very nice. It make it clear. It, uh, it make me calm. I, I feel I become calm because things are more clear to me now. Or you make it very simple. So if I want to say to somebody, I say, she would make it clear. But if I wanted to make it more professional, I would say to change the way that you are thinking. Okay, so let's take a step back and recap what we've done so far. You now know how to bridge the gap between knowing what you need and want and getting what you need and want. And you have a better understanding of the shocking financial facts that burden women. But here's the thing. It's useless knowing information without knowing what to do with it, how it can make your life better. It reminds me of a time when somebody approached me, this person was bursting with pride. They had spent two years tracking every single thing that they had spent their money on. They used an app on their phone and they showed me this app. Now, remember, I wrote articles for Forbes Arabia and newspapers. I had my own columns and it was about money and life. This is why this person approached me and they were so happy. So I asked this person, you know, what did you do with this information? How amazing that you did this. What did you do? How did it help you? <laughs> and they said, they did nothing with it. And so I thought to myself, what an amazing feat, but how useless and what a waste of time essentially, because if you don't do something with information, especially information like this, then what's the point? So you're not like that, right? You are going to do something useful with the information I'm giving you, yes? And this is the third strategy. It's moving from knowing to doing. So what can you do to make sure that you stay safe, successful, solvent, sane. It's the three step strategy that I shared at the very beginning. You raise your profile, you sustain your version of success, which will change as the phases of life change, and you will earn more when you work. You will lean into your earning potential. Now, each one of these is connected with the others. They feed into and off of each other, basically. So I like to look at holistic systems. So let's look at this. To raise your profile effectively, you must define what makes you different. You know, you are not the only person with the degree, the experience, the job title, the type of business that you run. Yeah. So what's different about you? Why should people choose you? Why you? To do this, there's a step before, which involves drilling down to and defining what you are the go-to person for and making sure that what you want to be doing more of is where you're headed. So sometimes we are the go-to person for something we don't want to be doing anymore. <laughs> and this applies to your personal and your professional life. And once you've done that, then it's about you showcasing and sharing your brilliance, the stuff that makes you brilliant at what you do, how you do it, and why people should choose you.
And the aim here is for you to be front of mind so that when somebody needs something that you can do and it fits into that thing that you want to be the go-to person for and do more of, they think of you, they approach you, they think, oh yeah, you, right? This means that the right opportunities seek you out. You move from chase to choose. And by the way, I have never applied for a job. So the organizations that I've worked alongside and with and that have trusted me, the likes of the United Nations, BBC World, Forbes Arabia, the multinationals, the governments, they approached me because I could do something that they needed. And it's because I was the go-to person for that thing. And someone who needed to fix an issue thought of me. So this is what I want for you, for you to be front of mind with the decision makers that are going to approach you with the right opportunities for you. The balance of power shifts when this happens. And by the way, it feels brilliant. And then the focus shifts to how you want to live and be and what you want to be known for. This by default means that you earn more because being able to sustain yourself doing this means you stay earning for longer, right? So you've got the double whammy of people approach you. So you move from chase to choose. The balance of power is with you. It raises your profile and your price. Okay. And because you have figured out how to sustain this way of living and being, you earn more by default because you can do it for longer. And so this third strategy is about bringing it all together. Raise your profile, sustain your success, earn more. Move from knowing this to living this, doing it. How do you do it? You action what you learn in she strategy because she strategy is the embodiment of these three steps. And to show you what I mean, I want to share a couple more examples of women I've worked with. Rosita, for example. Rosita went from being a brilliant lawyer to a stay-at-home mom who was, who was losing her mind and self and sense of self. And so when she joined She Strategy, she actually changed her name. That's part of what she did. She chose the name Rosita. She loves that name. She believes it is more her. And that's the name that she shows up as in she strategy. How lovely is that? She's sorting out where she's at and she's getting unstuck and she's leaning into what's next for her. And there's Jo. Jo wanted to land her first speaking engagement. She did. She nailed it. She is building up her business and she is living a fabulous life. I'm going to let you into a little secret. The secret being uh, raising your profile is fun and is the most amazing experience and journey to go on. And who should you raise your profile with? The wonderful Nima Abu Warder. She's absolutely incredible. In fact, I described her as phenomenal at the end of our last session. And I just feel I have gone from strength to strength. The programme is so insightful, so engaging, so informative. Um, Nima just creates interest all the way and really primes you to step forward and be a, a greater version of yourself, which is what I feel today. So um, my, my takeaway for you here is just get yourself working with Nima. She's absolutely incredible and I will sing her praises all the way. So thank you, Nima. It's been a blast. That's Jo, she is lovely. Actually, all the women I work with are just so lovely. And I want you to meet Vanessa. Now, this is what Vanessa had to say. What resonated most with me is that if I want to succeed, ambitions are not enough. I must have a plan. And the only person who can help me further myself is me. The power of my presence and how I see myself, along with the right skill building exercises, can help me become the best version of myself and reach as high as I can go with clarity, without sacrificing my sanity and always creating a powerful case. I couldn't have said it better. These are examples of she women, seen, heard, empowering themselves. And it's what I want for you. And you know something, I was invited to a client's wedding this year, somebody who I hadn't actually met up until then in person because everything was done online. And it just blew me away because what she said was that she wanted to invite people who had the most impact on her life that year. And I was one of them. So I just want to say to you and to everybody in the world, I want to shout from the rooftops, 
join she strategy amazing things will happen so how do you know if she strategy is for you how do you know if it's the right fit here are a few questions that'll help you decide and i'm going to call it the would it be worth it round so would it be worth it if all that she strategy gave you is how to figure out which words to choose and use every single time you have something important to say to share to speak to write to put forward I say yes, because that's where a lot of people's time, energy, stress, and freak out goes. Would it be worth it if going through she strategy transitions you from hitting what I call the wall of no choice, stepping off your career, leaving your path to arranging a sabbatical, stepping away for a time, not leaving totally? I say yes, because it'll pay for itself many, many, many times over. Would it be worth it if all it gave you was clarity? Clarity around where you're stuck, where you want to get to, what you need, how to make it happen. I say yes, it's worth it. Okay, so now I want to ask you, you know, what would hold you back from joining? Time, you'll save loads of time. Money, this will do two things. It'll get you earning more money over the course of your lifetime, and it'll save you from losing out on money, big time. Are you thinking maybe I'm not too sure because you're overwhelmed, stressed, juggling? Then I'll tell you this, you really need this. But before you make a decision, let me take you through what's included in Chi strategy so you can make what I call informed decisions, okay? First, the training is available online so you can access it anytime, anywhere, as long as you've got an internet connection. And let me quickly run through the actual program. It's made up of five modules. They are be practical, be seen, be heard, be empowered, be. What's next? Let me show you what I mean. Module one, be practical. In this module, you'll clarify and define what success means to you right now in this phase of life. And you'll begin creating a clear path towards getting there. We'll define your power, what you are the go-to person for, this includes defining your difference. It is critical to define because it's what separates you from everyone else. It's what you are going to lean into to get people coming to you for your expertise and other things happen, like the right opportunity seeks you out. Knowing these two things, what you need right now and what you are brilliant at is your foundation. Again, remember, you're not the only person with your degree, skills, job title, so why you? Module two, be seen okay in this module we start with how you perceive and feel about yourself when you do this people will respond and change the way they perceive you and what they assume about you you see what we feel on the inside leaks out and people pick up on it and make decisions about you before you say a word what you want is to be recognized for your brilliance for people not to assume things about you that are not true which can mean that they make decisions that can hold you back. Plus, you will be amazed at how much will change when you feel brilliant and comfortable, credible in yourself and about yourself. Module three, be heard. The thing is, it's not about what you say, it's about what others hear. And the truth is most of us are not natural born communicators, negotiators, public speakers. That's why there's an entire industry dedicated to it. In this module, you'll learn how to communicate so you are heard and your message is acted on. I'll guide you through communicating your needs and wants in a way that resonates and relates to those who are listening. You'll use this at work and at home. So by module three, you will have nailed what to say and why and how to choose the words that will resonate with the stakeholder that you're speaking with. Now, I bet that this is where you spend most of your time, the content, the words, what you're going to get across. But this is not enough. Module four is be empowered. It's where you bring everything together and action it. This is the secret to being able to achieve and sustain your success because matching up words and tone and presence is where the magic happens. This is what gets people remembering you for the right reasons. And of course, if they remember you for the right reasons, the right opportunities come to you. You are chosen. Great things happen. Okay, module five, B, what's next? It's two things. It's a question, B, what's next? What's next for you? And it's a call to action, B, what's next? Okay? <laughs>
We're cementing where you're headed with your career and ambition and bringing together everything we've worked on in the program. This is where we build your brand of success. I think it's really exciting. Can you tell? By the end of She Strategy, you will know that you must be your biggest advocate and spokesperson, and you'll have the toolbox to be it and do it. You will come up with strategies to deal with boundaries and limitations, those that hold you back and those that keep you safe. You will get clear around how to deal with what's going on in your life now and how to lean into what's next for you. And each module ends with a poem I wrote that highlights and cements the key points and takeaways in the module. So why don't you join me in speaking one of them? Let's do it together. It's time to show up, speak up and step up. Heck, I'm brilliant and will put my hand up. What's holding me back is what I and others think about me. It's time though for me to be the change I want to see. It's not just about me. It's for me, those around me and yes, my family. So there you have it. You get lifetime access to the five modules. Right now, there are 49 videos included in Chi Strategy. Please don't fret over that number. I made a deliberate decision to break down key thoughts and ideas into one mini video. So they are a few minutes long and done it in an enabling way. So you can stop and start at any point. Plus new videos and content that I add throughout our time together. Next, you get lifetime access to the fill in the blank template, never miss a thing checklists, scripts, and worksheets. Now these are invaluable. They simplify complicated things and make them actionable. They make sure that you put into practice everything that you're doing in She Strategy. You action it. It will give you your own unique blueprint for your version of success. A blueprint that is easy for you to refer to, to use, to complete. But having the videos and the paperwork that goes with it isn't enough. It's not enough to really transform you into what you can be. What you need is support. Somebody to hold your hand when you need your hand held, to be a safe place for you to come and share your challenges, ask your questions, okay? And that person is me. Think of it as learning to drive a car, okay? You're learning to drive a car, so you've got the machine, the engine runs, but to learn correctly and to pass, you need your driving instructor. This person keeps you safe, keeps you on track, and makes sure you pass your test. And so this is what you get when you join She Strategy, because I am your personal instructor. Every week, you can join me on a live virtual support session. You get 12 weeks free when you join She Strategy, and you have me to guide you through the work that we're doing together, and through your life and your career. You can join me live over Zoom. It's where I'll answer questions, I will discuss things, go through challenges, share stories, and make sure that we stay connected. I want you to succeed. I want you to get the best out of this. Now, if you have a question or want to share something with me, with the community, but you can't be there live, then don't worry because you'll have a form that goes out every week where you can include what you want to share. I record the sessions, I post them, you can access the session at any time. So what else do you get when you join Chi Strategy? Okay, so the weekly support calls are brilliant and unmissable. Please show up live, please. But sometimes you have a burning question that can't wait. So this is what I'm going to offer you. I'm offering you the option of emailing me and my team and we will get back to you within 24 hours. Okay, so you have a burning question, a situation, something that you want to share that's relevant to the work we're doing in She Strategy. For three months, you get access to me and my team via email. We will get back to you within 24 hours. That's worth a lot, okay? And if you join today, I'm going to include one of my very popular mini training sessions that I call Own Your Interactions. Think of it as a mini media training session. In it, I pass on the skills, tips, things that I teach the C-suite. I want you to know these things. It's a toolbox for you to be able to deal with hard hitting questions, situations that come up, taking control of conversations and interactions. Own your interactions. Seriously, it's a game changer. And I don't want you to wait. You can start right now implementing these things in your professional life, your meetings, your conferences, your whatever it is that you're doing, and also in your personal life too. It's all about owning your interactions, staying on your path, 
your agenda, bringing a conversation back to what you want it to be focused on and how to keep things that could throw you off course at arm's length. And you get access to it the moment you enroll on She Strategy. So to summarize, when you join She Strategy, this is what you get. Lifetime access to all five modules, lifetime access to the fill in the blank templates and never miss a thing checklists, 12 weeks of the live Q&A sessions run by me, and you get email support from me and the team for 12 weeks, and you get one of my most popular training sessions, Own Your Interactions, a mini media training session. Now, if you'd like to find out more, you can visit me. My booth is number 701. You can see that at the top right here. Booth or stand number 701. It's got She Strategy plastered across it. If you go to this stack here, where I'm, the arrow is, uh, the resources, Basically, I've kept it really simple. You can see that this is one page. It's a one page document and it's a link to everything list. So if you uh, download it and click on it, you'll see that it's basically click here. If you want to join, click here. If you want to go through the masterclass again, click here for the financial facts of life report. And this is this is where you'll find the report that tells you about the financial facts for women and how much women really earn, which I think is both fascinating and shocking. So be sure to go to my booth to find out more. Okay, She Strategy Booth 701 folks, please get in touch. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for being interested. My mission is to reach as many women as I can and enable them to achieve the financial security and create the life and career that they really want for themselves. And so I have made She Strategy accessible, financially accessible. I'm in the business of getting results. Okay, simple, practical, doable. And to show you how to raise your profile, sustain your version of success and earn more. I would love to welcome you to She Strategy. Get to know more about you, your wishes, aspirations, and how we can make them your reality. So don't wait. This is your ultimate do it now moment. Join She Strategy. We'll have some fun too. My name is Nima Abuarde, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.